Hello friends, today we will discuss about the zone of enamel caries. To proceed further, we have to give you knowledge about what are the enamels. Enamels the hard tissue of the tooth which is consists of 90%, 96% inorganic components and 4% organic components. Enamel caries, the established Early lesions in a smooth surface carries in cone shape with the base of the cone on the enamel surface and the apex pointing towards the amylodentinal junction. Zone of enamel caries. We have four zones of enamel caries. We have translucent zone, dark zone, body of lesion, and surface zones. Translucent zones. Normal enamel has 0.1 pore volume. Translucent zones show the first recognizable change in the advancing front of the lesions. Pore volume is approximately 1%. Pore are larger in size than the normal one. Fall in the magnesium, fall in magnesium and carbonate levels. Translucent is the first zone from the cemento enamel junction, dentino enamel junctions. Dark zone, we have another zone known as dark zone. The zone contains 2 to 4 persons by volume of the pores. Some of the pores are large, but others are smaller than those in the translucent zone. Suggested some remineralization has occurred due to reprecipitations of the mineral loss by the from the translucent zone. As the translucent zone is the first zone and the dark zone is second zone and dark zone is sandwiched between the translucent and the body of lesions and the demineralization takes place from the uh, translucent zones and then minerals come out from the translucent into dark zones and cause remineralizations in the dark zones as we get small pore volume as well as large pores volumes body of lesions it's the maximum zone of the demineralization in which 5 to 25 percent pore volumes presents larger crystal than normal enamel enamel due to representation of minerals lost from the deeper zones as i discussed earlier there is also uh, mineral intake from the dark zones and translucent zones Stray eye of residues are prominent in these zones. Surface zones. About 40 micrometer thick, higher fluoride levels, uh, lower magnesium level, higher fluoride levels, lower magnesium levels in these zones occur. The surface zones remain relatively normal despite uh, surface loss of minerals because it is an area of active representation of minerals derived tooth from the plaque and from the dissolve from deeper area of the lesion as discussed earlier uh, then there is pore volumes of about 40 micrometer thick because it's a quite normal to the normal enamels because there is a double way of remineralization first from the inner portions which is known as body of lesions there is a mineral mineral intake from the body of lesion and there is a way to take minerals direct from the oral cavity by the saliva as there is a the, and the pore volume is smaller in size and quite normal thank you very much